Hi, in this video, we are going to see how to create, delete, edit the existing data store using the HX Connect and we will also see the data store mounted to HX Cluster in vCenter. Here we will log in to HX Connect Web UI using the Cluster Management IP and Credit Admin credentials. Here you see the dashboard which gives some basic information about the HX Cluster such as health status, total usable capacity, used space and other information like how many nodes in a cluster, type of cluster nodes, compression and deduplication percentage. Make a note in this HX cluster which is a test lab has a total usable capacity of 5 terabyte out of which 4.9 terabyte is usable which means we can create one data store or multiple data stores with a maximum of approximately 4.9 terabyte. Now uh, we will go to data store tab which is under manage section on the bottom left here we have a test application data store already created and now we will create a new data store you named user and the data store space let's give it as 100 GB and clip the block size to default which is 8k in this example now you can see the data store is created and automatically gets mounted to the HX cluster and ESXi host within the cluster. We can verify this from vCenter. This is the HX demo cluster. We can verify that this is the same cluster which we are working on from the HX Connect page here as you can see. And the user data store is created with 100 GB space. We can verify that as from the ESXi host as well, as well as from the data store space. So we have three different points to verify. Now we would like to edit the data store and add or delete space for this data store. So we would need to unmount the data store first from HX cluster and then edit the data store. Please make sure that all VMs are either powered off or migrated to other data store before doing this task. So we verify that the data stores are deleted or unmounted. Now we added space to it and we mount it back. And if you look at the data store, it's 150 GB space which is mounted to the HX cluster and to the ESXi host as well. Let's say we would like to delete the data store. We need to make sure that all data is offloaded from the data store and is empty. We can either unmount it and delete it or we can simply delete it but if you know for sure that the data store is empty and there's no data within that data store, we will uh, simply go ahead and delete it. In this example, we know for sure that there's no data in this uh, data store. So we'll simply go ahead and delete it and we can verify from vCenter that the data store is being deleted.